Okay, what you're looking at here is a image from the, guess what, Yo-Yo Dine Industries website. Okay, this is a photograph of a Healing Waters amulet. Okay, as you can see, it comprises some very badly soldered together electric, electronic components. There's a resistor, two capacitors, and one diode. And that's all. Now, for the interesting bit, so to speak. I'll just get some light on my face so you can see me better. And of course I'll do my typical traditional Nick Dutch thing and I'll wear my golfing hat because it means I don't have to brush my hair. Think about that, okay? He's got a couple of electronic components soldered together in a plastic casing with a ring around it. That's all you've got. The components themselves would probably cost one dollar or one dollar or two dollars okay the labor to solder them together could be about 15 minutes the labor to encapsulate them maybe another five minutes the total cost of the components maybe you know five dollars total labor maybe about 20 minutes retail price for this your price to us this is during their sale sixty two dollars fifty Price reduced from one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Let's read through the first couple of paragraphs of what it says here. Okay. The Healing Waters amulet is a beautiful amulet. It's a couple of electronic components soldered together in a little plastic encasing. It looks shit meant to open the heart in a special way. What special way and by what mechanism does it open the heart? So deeply felt compassion can arise from this deeply felt compassion. Right action flows like water from a spring. How very poetic. As clear and clean water flows in the right measure, both nourishing and cleansing, it allows for things to grow lush and beautiful. You don't tend to get that kind of description in the Mapling catalogue now, do you? Essentially, this is curious, okay? People are interested in spending money on something that they have faith in. Okay, that's fine. And if that was purely what people were trying to get from these particular things, then fine. And I suppose it would actually justify to a certain degree charging a good price for it. But it's just a couple of electronic components soldered together. And it's got this like um, pseudo natural scientific um, explanation as to what it does. Right, it, 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 it's not good. All right, okay, they've got their legal disclaimer, which basically says, like, you can buy this if you want, you know, <laughs> we can't guarantee anything at all. But it's a little over the top. Now, that's what this company, this organization, Yo-Yo Dine Industries, does. They just make amulets from stuff. I just wonder what it would, would be like if I was to have, you know, a conversation with someone who has tried this um, type of equipment and what they say they got from it. And hey presto, I uh, receive a couple of comments, okay, on my video about Yo-Yo Dine Industries. And this individual says, Clearly, you, you had your mind made up about what you were going to see before making an open-minded, rational inquiry about this technology. And saw all of your pet peeves a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a couple of electronic components soldered together. Also, for a guy who claims no beliefs to be stating this outfit for, or for stating this outfit for not being days, contradict much? Um, no, 
I don't think so. Because essentially my understanding of the word deism refers to the application of a reason to a complex subject. Okay, That means using your brain, not trying to subvert the intellectual faculties with flowery language. I've been using this stuff for 18 months. It works, yes, I'm fine with that word. Well, I'm not. And it doesn't take a genius to work out why it's wrong. Do your research beyond a glance before you vent your pathetic poisons across the net, pal. My pathetic poisons. I love that. Always add a little alliteration there, you know, it just sort of adds to it. Your pathetic poisons, pow. Gosh, I'm so terrified. I've explained why it's wrong to use the phrase, it works, because it's intellectually incorrect. All right? There are such things as coincidences. So, it, and it is important to actually apply some form of scientific reasoning to your experiences to say whether there is any direct causal link. And essentially, if you are going to say it works, you've got to be able to demonstrate that in the lives of anybody else who uses this technology. All right? You know, real proper proof, man. Now, this particular YouTube user has gone a stage further because he's replied to his own comment and says, I've been using Holosync for about four years too. Which is curious, considering he says earlier on that he's only been using the technology for 18 months, but never mind. I'm sure there'll be an explanation for that at some point. He says, I find it wonderful. This stuff is equally powerful in its own way. In its own little way. What what use is the phrase? It's equally powerful in its own little way. You know, its own little way. Yes, its own little little way. How can you criticise it from such an expert and rational perspective? Well, considering that earlier on in the comment, he says. Yeah, he actually criticizes me for trying to be rational about this. <sighs> because his statement was, you had made up your mind about what you were going to see before making an open-minded rational inquiry. And then in the second comment, he says, how can you criticize it from such an expert and rational perspective? Because I'm trying to apply my reason to it, okay? I'm trying to apply my rationality to what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm reading, what I'm finding out about, because that is what makes a person a good person, in my opinion, okay? It's what makes a person an intelligent person, because they don't believe based on what they've seen or what they've read or what they've been encouraged to believe. So he then calls me, he or she then calls me, uh, someone who's using a posturing grandiose approximation of irrational, rational, without actually trying to see these things, is seriously insane. So he is accusing me of being someone who is insane because I don't believe that a couple of electronic components soldered into a little blob and hung around a person's neck can open the heart in a special way. I am the one who's being called insane here. <laughs> then again, your rational fanboys are going to love it as usual. Tear down things in the name of reason instead of doing anywhere wholesome or constructive. It's the name of the game. No, you've got me wrong. Because I am trying to do things in a wholesome and constructive manner through encouraging people to start with the right variety of attitude. And that goes with all spiritual things, all religious things, all apparently supernatural things, okay? And thus to encourage and to constructively develop people's understanding, 
thinking and reasoning, which is wholesome, which is constructive, which is beneficial. What I am tearing down is people who blindly believe. What I am tearing down is people who wish to accept something on faith. Or if they get something good happening on one particular day in their life, they ascribe it to something stupid like a small amulet made out of electronic components, probably bought from Maplins for sod all money, sold it into a little blob and hung around someone's neck. No, it doesn't work. Yes, you have been hoodwinked. And yes, you are lying to yourself. And surely that is a bigger crime against reason than anything that I've ever done on my YouTube channel. Good God! <clears throat> Brain. Grow one. 